The North Dakota hockey team continuing this all important home stretch of the regular season. UND looking to add some extra cushion around them as they sit on the top of the conference. They could do so tonight as they look to finish the sweep over the sixth ranked Western Michigan Broncos. UND coming into this game all guns blazing, scoring early. The first shots turned away, but look at this kill shot by Luke Bast. North Dakota with a one to nothing lead less than three minutes into the game. They didn't slow down either. Just a few minutes later, Louis Jamernek skates through three defenders and sends a shot past the goalie as he's falling down. UND up two to nothing. They're looking for another before the break. A two on one and Judd Caulfield lights the lamp with a power play goal. UND on a very hot start, up three to nothing in the first period. Break out the brooms. We've got a sweep in the Ralph. North Dakota sealing the deal with a five to two win tonight. UND with the top spot in the Penrose Cup standings. They have a four point lead there. They could seal it next week with a single victory in their series against Omaha. Heading over to Shields Arena now for the wild conclusion of the girls state hockey tournament. It's Fargo Davies and the Fargo North South Spruance. The team skated to a one to one tie in regulation and were scoreless in overtime, bringing us to a fifth period of hockey. The Spruance looking to end this sudden death second overtime. Libby Olson takes this one across center ice and launches it from a long way away. It's Noel Lewis getting in front of it to keep this game going. The Eagles on an attack of their own now. Olivia Oppheim with a beautiful setup here, finding Kylie Autry right in front of the net. This one shut down by Savannah Woodchuck. Just, just when it felt like these teams were destined for a third overtime, the tournament MVP breaks free. Riley Bartz breaks loose into the Davies zone, deeks past the defender, fires a shot into the five hole. The puck touching the back of the net. Let the dog pile commence. The Fargo North South Spruins winning their first state title as a co-op program. Two to one the final score in double overtime in an instant classic. Although it was certainly a tough act to follow, the boys game started about 30 minutes after the girls wrapped up. That one is still in progress, currently in the third period there. The Moorhead Spuds hosting their Section 8 AA semifinal tonight against St. Michael Albertville. Both teams scoreless in the first period, but the Spuds start the lamp lighting in the second. Moorhead crashing the crease and the first shot's deflected, but Harper Bentz puts it right back where it came from. The Spuds lead one to nothing. The Knights would tie it up later in the period, but that would only last for a few seconds. On the very next possession, the Spuds sprinting down the ice. A cross sheet feed to Bentz sets up the backdoor goal. Just like that, the Spuds have reclaimed their lead with back-to-back -back Bentz goals. They would add one more before the third period, though. Bentz just spins around and launches this one from a distance. It hits the back of the net. The Spuds up 3-1, to one, and Bentz already has a natural hat trick. The Spuds advance to the Section 8 AA Championship game on Wednesday. They head to St. Cloud, where they'll take on Elk River. The Elks advancing with a 4-3 win of their own over Rozo. And in the Section 8 playoffs for the single-A level, it's going to be War Road and Thief River Falls playing for the section title. Both teams advancing with 5-1 to one wins. The Warriors over East Grand Forks, the Prowlers over Detroit Lakes. Stick around, we head to the hardwood next for some high school region championships.